Yeah. Okay, so um, how do you start up your iCast server? How do you start it up? Um, starting it up is easy. So, pseudo gain root. So, the pseudo gain root, does that mean you rooted your device or...? Something like that. It's the main mode version of uh, gaining root. So, so basically, um, you have no... Basically, you have not modified your standard main mode in order to mm -hmm. do this? Um, you have, yeah. You just just... Uh, um, first, the thing about Android is you have to add Devil, extra devil, testing, I don't know. I think if you're N900 enthusiast, you'll, you'll get what I mean. So basically, you just need to add a repository, something like that? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, add extra, and then you just gain... Uh, go, to, go to root, basically access as root. Yep. Uh, thing you need root as If you have the... If you have the repository. Okay. Uh, let me go. Oops. I don't know. Still running. It's okay, but basically you just need to add um, root sh, after it install root sh. Yep. Um, and and obviously ice cast, cast to. Two. Yes, okay, it's no problem. So, dum dum dum. Ooh, I'm connected already to internet, yeah. So, uh, ice cast, then I think uh, you need. Let's uh, Google search. Uh, not Google search. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's already <laughs> worked. Yes, the direct term. Sorry. G streamer. Sorry, Google. Go. Uh, yeah, uh, search. G stream. G stream is built into. I think it's built into MI. I don't know if I installed anything extra, but G stream and lame. So I. Uh, yep. So that's the G streamer yeah. 0.1. So basically, you get the G streamer ugly plugin from the multiverse. Essentially, yeah. yeah. And then you install that. Once you install that, you get the thing. You so basically, it. yeah. So basically, the first part is you install the iStar server. This is just getting the tools that you need to pipe your audio to the iStar server. Yep, yep. Essentially, uh, then you set up the uh, the config. It, it's just <gasps> so yeah. So this is the. The one that we've mentioned. Oh, so this is the this is the one line command to yeah, essentially stream to name political nine help to send mount listen, mount point for uh, eighty password. This is the password. <laughs> My first damn ice cast server and local host. Yep. So basically, once you have that, you need to start up the FM yep. tuner. Uh, so you set up the FM. Oh, you have to install FM. Oh, okay. doesn't come, doesn't come standard, yeah. so you need to install it Typical first. Typical of Memo. Everything, <laughs> you need to install basically everything. Yeah. Uh, they have the hardware, but they don't have the software. So, you have to install the FM radio. Oh, okay. So, uh, and you have to plug in the... And obviously, get tune it accordingly. Yeah. And once that is done... That's done. So, where is it? Uh, I need to add to the game route. So now, I just start it up using a bash script. Uh, I'm sure most of you already know how to set up bash script. Uh, so once you have that, so now it's basically streaming already. Yep. So uh, if we go back to my computer, yep. this is the iCast server. Okay. If I were to refresh, you can see the stream that he just set up. Yep. So as you can see here, I ran into a bit of difficulties because um, clicking on the M3U file does not open up in a default player and then I copied it into VLC but I was using Soundflower and it was not playing the audio from Soundflower itself. But anyway, you just need to click the M3U link and maybe a default application will open it up. If not, just copy the URL and copy paste it into a uh, audio streaming software such as PLC or iTunes. The only reason you don't hear it playing here is because I, as I mentioned, I piped it into Soundflower and I forgot to enable listening to Soundflower. So if that help, I hope that helps you. If you have any questions, do let us know. Thanks.